Joining us now, aviation expert and former Boeing engineer, he's Peter Lemmy. Peter, it's good to see you, or rather have you on the show. Thanks for joining us. Okay, this new story from the Wall Street Journal. That door that blew off midair on that Alaska Airlines plane made by Boeing, Peter, some of the bolts were actually missing on that door, door when it left the factory? When the plane left Boeing's factory, the bolts were appeared to have been already missing? How did that happen? Uh, it looks like a work order failed to note that the door was being uh, opened and closed, and so the work order to put the bolts back in is missing. Never uh, happened. Peter, how, so what is going on with Boeing? What are you hearing? Um, I think on the 737, uh, you know, exit door situation, uh, the really troubling issue, number one, we're all grateful that nobody died or was seriously injured in this event. But in investigating it, we've already heard reports from both Alaska and United uh, that they found a number of uh, hardware discrepancies, loose bolts, so to speak, uh, which is very troubling. This whistleblower report that's come through uh, outlines the fact that the factory seems to be very much accommodating to what uh, Boeing refers to as quality escapes, uh, much more than we would have expected. What does that and mean, course, quality? Now, yeah. What does quality escapes mean? This is a, 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 a way of describing a screw up or a mistake. Uh, it's just a nice way of saying it, so to speak. So what does that mean, that they're, they have more quality escapes, meaning a breakdown in quality controls and they don't care? They're not doing anything about it? They seem to be willing to rework it. So normally the idea is to build the airplane right the first time uh, and not have to rework areas that don't come up to spec. And it appears that more and more rework is being done on these airplanes than anybody would have expected. So how bad is the breakdown behind the scenes at Boeing's factories? You know, the one in Washington, Washington State, I, you know, the question is, do they go through a final inspection before they're put in the air? Because, the, you know, a lot of industry officials increasingly believe that Playmaker's employees failed to put the bolts back on. But who's watching the store? Well, there's a, there's a process, you know, the airplane's made up of hundreds of thousands of parts. So no single person certainly could stand up and, and say that they've inspected it all. It takes a team of people. Um, the problem is there's trust in that process that is being done correctly and that the paperwork is complete. And I think the FAA at this point, uh, their, their trust in Boeing is shaken and uh, perhaps is, uh, is completely uh, fractured. And I think we're waiting to hear what the FAA is finding when they, uh, when they get into the factory. So are you checking the type of plane that you're flying before you get up in the air, say if you're going on vacation, are you doing that? You know, I've always I've always paid attention to that, of course, and I do trust these airplanes. Um, I think the uh, the finding of the loose bolts is certainly uh, very troubling, and um, uh, I would note that you know Boeing. Uh, I, I I believe that they're still safe airplanes. I do. I honestly do. Um, but uh, there's certainly a big gap right now in, in where they should be. But what happened inside Boeing that led to these lapses? I mean, what happened to the culture in, inside Boeing? Well, I think that goes back about 30 years. Uh, I would I would kind of put my finger on Phil Condit uh, in the early 90s, pivoting towards share price as being the goal for the company uh, instead of product quality. Um, and I think uh, you know that uh, that method uh, uh, mindset has proliferated by their choices in who's managing the company. Um, and they've also they've also lost a little bit of their uh, willingness to really push the company forward. They're but resting on their laurels uh, and, and taking the money out of the company instead of investing in new products. Um, the focus has been profit, not product quality. And I think that's the crux of the problem today at Boeing. This could all be fixed up, Peter, right? Final word. I think it can be fixed, but it's not going to be a, a quick fix. It's going to take uh, probably five to 10 years to turn this boat around fully. Wow. Okay. Thank you for your analysis there, Peter Lemming. We appreciate you.